There's a disturbing trend among firefighters who help people during emergencies like these that you might not expect, and that's post-traumatic stress. Ariana Bennett joins us now with more, and Ari, clearly first responders have to see so much tragedy. Yeah, they really do. There's even some research that shows firefighters have a higher rate of post-traumatic stress than even deployed military because it can build up over decades of service responding every day to medical emergencies, car crashes, and other types of human tragedy. We get to see, good, bad, or otherwise, some of the more tragic events that happen in people's lives. If you're calling us, that's not a good day for you. Now, Riser has been researching the problem ever since he noticed that the rate of firefighter suicides has risen higher than the rate of firefighters who die in the line of duty. And he believes it's because of a lack of adequate preparation for the difficult things firefighters have to deal with every day and because the emotional toll isn't really talked about. It is taboo to speak about because the expectation is that you're walking a a relatively thin line and you're going to be running into, in our case, burning buildings or you're going to emergency scenes to try and calm situations. And when you admit that those things are affecting you, you lose that edge. Now, Riser is working to create programs to help firefighters deal with all of this. So to hear about that, you can tune in or set your DVR for Face the State this weekend. It's airing tomorrow at 4.30 a.m. and 3.30 p.m. and on Sunday at 6.30 a.m. and 3.30 p.m. Covering the story live, Ariana Bennett, Channel 2 News. All right.